insects around the house, I have a much better idea. And it's much cleaner, much safer, and you can bring it indoors. It is the brand new Monster Zapper. So no more fly swatters, no more chemical sprays or sticky tapes or traps. All you do is plug it in and give those pesky indoor insects a zap. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh, and here is our bug expert, our very own <laughs> bug zapper, our one and only Lou Caputo, our exterminator of the hour. I'm the bug guy now. You are the bug guy. <laughs> do you get I like a, a, a badge or something? I want something. something. Yeah, do you I feel want, like I need something. Do you want like one of those like cool onesies yeah. that the exterminators I'd, wear? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what you I need. I want that and a helmet. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get that for you. <laughs> All that. But first, tell Tell us about the Let's brand talk new about Monsters this. Out. Okay, so this is a very interesting device because you know we have it just knocked down when it comes to getting rid of all the other pests in your home. We can handle the rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, the spiders. We got them covered. But what about the things that fly? Until now, you've been kind of doing it manually. You've been going after them with like the electrified swatters, the manual swatters. I mean, all these different things, right? Well, what this does is it actually attracts the mosquitoes, the gnats the flies, the moths, all of these things right into inside us, including the wasps, all right? And it brings them in and it zaps them. It's very simple, okay? And what's neat about this is all you do is plug it in. There's no assembly required. It comes fully assembled and you turn it on and just set this someplace in your house. Now what happens is these ultraviolet lights, there's two um, 20 watt ultraviolet lights in here, okay? And the insects literally like moths to a flame, they are attracted to these mm -hmm. lights. So what happens is they try to get to the lights and inside here, now you can't touch it. So there's no danger of any sort of shock for you or your kids or your pets. But there is a grate that goes across in here and it has 2,800 volts going through it. Okay, so as soon as the insect touches that grate, they get zapped. Wow. And it's pretty dramatic when it happens. <laughs> it, it really is. Now, what happens to the carcass of the insect? Well, there's a little catch tray down here at the bottom. It falls down in here and they collect there. And then every once in a while, you kind of take a look at it and you see if it's getting full. You take that and you kind of go and dump it out. Very simple, you can, and this part you can actually clean out if you need to. Uh, we give you a chain with this. So you can actually hang this if you want to someplace in your house. I mean, I think that this is a great idea. Now, quick funny story. So last week in my office, we noticed this really horrible odor, okay? And we called the uh, management company for the complex and we're like, hey, listen, we got this bad odor guy came over. He said it was because our dumpster was so close to our air conditioner. I'm gonna go with no, because a few days later, the smell was gone, but guess what appeared? Flies. Lots and lots oh, and lots of flies. No. Like, how would I get rid of, I'm talking like yeah. 20, 30, I mean, just all over, right? So we had two of these in the office and it was a field day. And you would hear people down the hall every time they would zap something, got one. You'd hear people yelling down the hallway. <laughs> and it was great. cheer and clap. Yes, and it took care of the problem. But I mean, if you're a homeowner yeah. and you've got this, and especially like we're getting to the time of year now, we're gonna start closing up the house and we're gonna trap all this stuff inside. You know, mm -hmm. so how are we gonna get rid of them? Well, we've got options and we've talked about a little bit about these, I was kind of kidding around about this, but we got our bug sprays, right? And if you go out there and use the sprays, all you're doing is walking around and just spraying this in the air. Right. Now, who else breathes the air in your house? Hmm, everybody? So you, that's really not a great solution. Yeah. Uh, we've got these guys here. Do you remember these? Have you ever seen these from the restaurants? Oh, the yes. The big, the big, uh, ew. This oh, is yeah. like this nasty sticky strip right here and the flies get stuck to that. <laughs> um, and it's disgusting because it's just hanging flies, just kind of moving in the breeze. So that's kind of gross. It doesn't do anything to get rid of the that's carcass. And then we really talked gross. about these, and maybe you're quicker than I am, you know, but if you're trying to actually get a fly, they're pretty darn fast. Wouldn't you rather just have something that's going to attract the flies to it and yes, then zap and then them? you're not chasing them. You're not chasing. Because if it's you versus the fly, the right. fly's probably going to win that one. Every time. Uh, hands down. Every time. Uh, plus, if you have one of these lying around the house, you know that everyone grabs it, everyone right. touches it, the kids, the pets. and oh, the, yeah. Then, of course, you're putting all that Gross. on your kitchen counter and on your exactly. windows and on your doors and everything else that it's going to touch. So yeah. this is something that is designed for indoor use. Yeah. Which is so great. It's I mean, made we've to seen be inside. the outdoor bug zappers. So. Well, and those were much bigger. I mean, if you, th if you remember, the outside 
outside ones are much thicker, they're much larger, and just way more industrial looking, okay? So this is just, you know, Bell and Howell took this and they kind of made it a little bit smaller in every dimension. And just something that you can put there. We've got one sitting on the floor by a door, and then we've got another one that's up on a table kind of out of the way. And, you know, it, it really does work. And you can, and the reason you know it works is because you can hear it. You can hear the, the bugs when they go in there. And I mean, think about this too. The sprays and the, and the fly swatters and everything I showed you, they're great for flies, okay? Well, not great, but they, they work on flies, okay? This is gonna take care of the mosquitoes. This is gonna take care of the gnats. This is gonna take care of the noceums. All those little tiny bugs, the moths that are eating your clothes, the wasps that wanna sting you. What about those like little fruit flies that come in? They're flies. With your groceries? Sure. And they're already in the fruit, right? Yes. And you don't even know about them That's not your like fault. a day yeah. or two later, right. right? Right, you're right. And this would attract them as well. It's a funny thing, I, so I, I kinda read up on why the UV light attracts them. And believe it or not, patterns on plants that these, animal, that these insects are attracted to are only visible under UV. UV light. Oh, Isn't that weird? That is yeah, it's strange, wild. but that's why that's why they're attracted to the UV light. So that brings them in. But remember, once they get in there, they can hang around the lights all they want, but the minute they come into contact with that 2800 volt uh, grate that's in the front of this, they're, it's, you know, good night nurse, they're gone. <laughs> they're out of there. Well, you told a great story and I have one for you. Oh, tell me. Uh, but first, I just want to remind everybody, this is brand new. Yep. Uh, we are going to have a very busy hour. A lot of you are hopefully celebrating the holiday weekend a little early with your family and friends. It's a great day to do a little shopping. Get the Monster Zapper because this is the time of year that we're not the only ones trying to come indoors and right. hang out. Uh, the bugs are trying to get indoors as well. So a couple summers ago, my family opened up their summer cottage on Lake mm -hmm. and they hadn't been in it for months. And after a few days, there were not hundreds of flies. There were probably thousands of really? black flies. Huge, giant flies. And they could not figure out where they were coming from. They had closed all the windows. They mm -hmm. had closed all the doors. And no matter how many they killed, more appeared mm -hmm. mysteriously. It took them almost a week to figure out the source of the flies. Can you guess? What? It was a dead squirrel Boom. that had fallen down the chimney, mm -hmm. had died. It was probably decomposing for weeks right. before all the flies suddenly appeared and they kept coming out of the chimney. Yeah. We could have used something like this because it didn't matter what we did, we could not get rid of all those flies. And see, that's exactly what happened in our office. And I'm pretty sure something yes, died in the ceiling or the died, walls. And then, yes. And then they what, what do they do? They lay their eggs and, and they have no idea where all it's the flies. From. Yeah, and they were everywhere. And this was a godsend. It actually, you know, did a great job for us. Now, the other thing too is though, you know, if you live someplace where you're fortunate enough that in the summertime or springtime you can actually open the windows. Here in Florida, what we do is we close the windows and turn on the air conditioning. But if you live anywhere else, <laughs> You open the windows, and you know, even if you've got great screens, somehow they still get in. And every time you go walk the dog, every time somebody goes outside, you know, you open the garage door, these little pests are gonna come in, and you're gonna get the mosquitoes and the noceums and the gnats and the wasps and the, the flies, and there's so many varieties of flies. Right. I mean, there's black flies, yellow flies, you know, deer flies. I mean, they're just, there's so many of them. And this is gonna get them all. They're all attracted to this. And the nice thing about this is that unless it actually zaps something, it's completely quiet. So you don't even know that it's there. Like, you'll forget that this is on, mm -hmm. that it's just sitting there. And then all of a sudden you hear that, you know. And as long as it's plugged in, it's working. Yeah. And well, you, do you ever have to you. like change a battery or no, change a light nothing. bulb? Just or? plug it in. Now there is an on off switch. So I just turned it off right there and that's on the side. And now you can see that goes back on. And all it's doing is it's turning on the two attractants, which are the 20 watt UV ultraviolet light bulbs that are in here. And then it has that 2800 volt uh, grate in the front of it. But as I mentioned earlier, I can sit here all day and grab this and touch this mm -hmm. and do all kinds of things to it. But I can't get in there to touch yeah. that because it's double sealed. And it's so there's no way. Lightweight. Yeah. Only weighs a about four pounds. Right. Let me give the dimensions. You're trying to figure out uh, where do I put this? Look first of how narrow it is. Yeah. It's only about uh, three inches wide at its widest point. It's going to be about 15 inches long. It's about 10 inches high. And remember, it's going to be the easiest thing ever so to simple. remove the dead bugs and right. carcasses because you're not chasing them down. Because as soon as you kill something, you're like, oh, now I got to go clean it up. And here's the now tray. Now I smash that wasp against <laughs> right. a beautifully painted wall right. or my kitchen counter that was clean a few minutes ago. And here's the tray that fits in the bottom right there. You saw me take that out just a second ago. And you just dump this out, rinse it out, whatever, however you want to mm -hmm. clean it. And then it just slides. There's a little groove right here. And it just slides right back in. Very, very simple. Ready for the next batch to come on. All I mean, it's right. very easy to do.
Uh, and if you have bees or wasp nests near your home, yeah. uh, notice how they're always like under the eaves or they're always like right outside your door in bricks or in the roof. If they're getting inside, uh, you can run away and just put it, you can put on the bug zapper and leave yeah. the house. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, please get that little wasp or that bee or the mosquitoes at night. And it's so you much better than this. You never notice the mosquitoes during the day. No, but when it's you're trying to sleep. When you're trying to sleep and you have that frustrating little, right. zzz, you're like, Ugh. And these are worthless for those. This stuff, this stuff doesn't work. This does. All right, do the right thing. Get the Monster Zapper uh, brought to you from our very own bug guy. No more sticky tape. No more sticky I'm tape. I'm going to miss that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we have an HSN prize for flex pay on everything this weekend. So you can really get those home items that are really going to be useful. You're going to have a lot of fun giving this a brand new item. Now, yep. Luca Puto, don't go anywhere. Okay. We've got another brand new item coming up. But first, uh, we have a phenomenal value. Okay, this is awesome. You could save up to $40 on a single item purchase when you open and use an HSN credit card. Imagine that $40 off your purchase and all you do has to all you have to do is instantly apply and get approved and make your first purchase. We'll take $40 off. That's a lot of money. And um, we're doing that uh, just for Labor Day weekend. So, get your wish list out, check out what's in your shopping cart and enjoy that $40 coupon. All right, let's get back to